Hey everybody, today I'm going to teach us about how anger is like a sandwich. That feels like a really strange metaphor at first, however by the end of this video you will learn that a sandwich is actually the perfect example to explain how anger works in all of us. You can use this when working with yourself, your child, as a teacher in a classroom, or maybe you're a salesperson and interact with people. At the end of the day, this exercise is applicable to any age and it's how anger works in all of us. The first thing I want to teach you today is anger is a secondary emotion. That means it can never come first. Regardless of the issue, regardless of what is happening, anger is always preceded by a primary emotion. Those primary emotions are things like disappointed, frustrated, embarrassed, sad, tired, hungry. Um, there's a slew of emotions that are primary that anger can follow. However, anger can never, never come first. And as a result, I like to tell kids in my office that anger gets jealous or mad because it wants to come first. And so what it does is it comes in and latches on to the primary emotion and covers it up. An example might be if a kid won an award at school and was walking across stage super proud of himself and feeling great and he trips and falls in front of his classmates. Everyone laughs and maybe he gets up and starts screaming. Maybe he throws something. Whatever he does in that moment he is presenting his anger but the primary emotion is embarrassed or maybe he's sad. Primary emotions can go together as well. That's important to note. Or maybe um, a child studies really, really hard for a test uh, and they come in the next day and they're so pumped and they, they take it and then when they get the grade back, it's not what they expected. So they crumble up the paper and they throw it in anger and you think, that is an angry child, but really that child is disappointed or frustrated or sad. At the end of the day, there is always something that precedes anger. The only emotion that cannot precede anger is happiness. Um, it is not a natural response. It is um, physically impossible, emotionally impossible for anger to grasp onto happiness. Therefore, it is the only primary emotion that is not uh, does not precede anger. So today I want to tell you a little bit about why anger is like a sandwich now that you understand the concept that anger is secondary. Um, so we see our sandwich here and it is about lunchtime so it's a good thing that this is not a real sandwich or I might eat it. Um, it's also a good thing that it's not a real sandwich because I probably wouldn't write marker on a real sandwich. So we have our cute little paper sandwich here and when you notice it you see some things poking out but really all we notice is is anger. That is really um, the highlight of what we see here. And so what I want you to, to train you to do today in this short video is to be able to look at a person who is expressing emotion and say, what's really going on? What's really happening? Because anger can't come first, so what came first? So today in my anger sandwich, I've highlighted just a few primary emotions. There is definitely more than this, but they're the ones that I chose to put in my sandwich today. These are also great activities to make with your students at school, your kids at home. Very simple activity to do. So when a situation arises, um, and a person presents as angry, we're not going to do that anymore because we're sandwich finders and we're sandwich diggers. And we're going to say, hmm, they are angry, but what else is going on? They're angry, but maybe they're actually sad. Maybe I dropped my bacon and now I'm sad. Maybe they're scared. Scared is another one, a lot like worried. Um, those go hand in hand, so watch for a lot of that. Maybe they're embarrassed. Um, if you see someone who is habitually an angry person and they're also really sensitive, that's probably a red flag that they struggle with some anxiety issues. Specifically in kids, they don't know how to handle embarrassment well, so it comes out a lot in anger. So if you are seeing a child who is habitually ang angry and struggling um, to calm themselves, that should be a red flag that this isn't anger, this is something deeper going on, maybe some insecurities and embarrassment issues. Uh, maybe they're guilty. Guilty is a big one because children um, and people try and save face. Disappointed like we've talked about or frustrated. Two also huge emotions that I feel like are underplayed and we don't give much attention to is hunger and um, tired. 
hungry and tired are two huge emotions and two very easy emotions for anger to latch onto. So pay attention to those. So today, we now know that anger is a secondary emotion that it is always follows a primary emotion. And now that you know that, you're going to go out and be an anger digger. And next time you see an angry person, you're going to say, well, what's really inside of their sandwich?